go beyond normal psychology and normal self-help work because there's mm -hmm. a there's a level of um, clarity that they don't talk about because it's always talked about in the spiritual realm right and it's sort of not um, you know it's not a big uh, thing talked about in the performance world but the only reason I know it is because I've actually been there and been in it mm -hmm. and, I'm, and I'm getting other people to that, that to those stages without even worrying about the spiritual side it's just a part of the it's part of the process and when we can actually evolve that nervous system to that third level it's essentially mm -hmm. what um what enlightenment means in scientific terms they call it a non-symbolic experience yeah so we're actually we're just because we um and and I've done it in reverse. I actually got there and then worked out how to, what it actually all meant. So you're not, okay. so I'm giving you, a, giving you a little warning because what you're going to do today is not your standard stuff. You haven't, you won't have done this stuff before. So I just want you to open your mind mm -hmm. because what, it, what I can give you in two hours took me two years to get. And this is the trend. This is the rapid transformation we're talking about. So I'm going to like this whole process is about teaching you certain skills that you don't even know you have yet. So we can speed up the processing of this. It's purely about performance, okay. getting you get your mind to actually work in a, in a um, better construct. So just open your mind and just trust the process because you're able to do things that you don't even know you can do yet. And mm -hmm. if you need to ask a scientific question or need it backed up by science, we can do all that, right? Because yeah, this I'm is not, I'm not I'm not that even though I have got science background, I'm not that bothered about that. Well, that's but I but I, I'm giving them warning because I was science back, like I yeah, was, yeah. you know, prove it to me, like. Yeah, yeah, this is simple. Prove it to me. Yeah, yeah, and when I'm and when I'm dealing with high performers, they're normally the type of people that go, "Well, okay, prove it to me." Um, but once once they get in, and I've got every I've got everything you need, but in this, I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you processes and stuff we do. So this is all about teaching. I've got to get you for in the time frame that we're talking about. I've got to get you as far along this scale as possible within the shortest period of time and to do that we just do the work mm -hmm. if you want it backed up i'll give you the books and i've got two books that i want you like i'll get you to read but depending on money club and all that kind of stuff whether you have time but i have two books i run with this first program and they just give you a whole different outlook on what what we've been doing previously okay and I'm going to send you all of today, uh, the questions we ask, the things we're doing, so you won't have to sit there and write it. I want you to learn today. Trust okay. the process and learn. I send you a daily email. I send you for homework. I send you the outline of what we, like the bits that we need to do to be able to, for you to do your homework and stuff. And mm -hmm. when I'm talking homework, I'm talking, you know, 15 minutes a day. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not going to add to your burden of money club and all that kind of stuff and work, but we need to practice this stuff so we can just integrate it into your, into your life. Because these mm -hmm. are tools you're going to use for the rest of your life. If you use it, utilize them, if you take them on board, just exactly what we're talking about, integrating new skills. So first question I ask every client, tell me who you are. And there's a reason for this. I'll ask you, I'll ask you to do something and I'm going to then explain it when we've done the exercise and I'll explain to you what happened and why it happened. But this one is just tell me who you are. Well, um, yeah, I'm a father, I'm a partner, um, you know, a coach. Um, I 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always, you know, wanting to, you know, look into new ideas, uh, experiment, try different things, um, you know, more no, would... than, you know, more, more than being like a, um, uh, like a master of one thing, um, I'm more like a, a jack of all trades. Uh, yeah, general... yeah, yeah. Uh, polymath, polymath, I'd, I'd, I'd rather say. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I, I like I like having fun. I, I make I, I like trying to you know trying to make people laugh, uh, have a joke. Um, I'd say I don't I, I don't take myself like too seriously. Uh, I'm happy to um, you know have have a, have a laugh at my um, my foibles uh, and be behave, behavioural things. Um, uh, I don't know. Yeah. You know, I'm, the you know these are also like you know technical things. You're probably going to say at the end, this isn't like you know you know who you are at your core type of thing. But you know, obviously into you know into all sports, uh, traveling, meeting people, uh, you know, working with people. Um, you know, what is this the type? What what else? What else do you want? I could I could talk for you know an hour about you know things I've done and. All that well, this, is, stuff. this is the this is the point of this question, right? Because mm -hmm. what we're all my whole goal is to get you better, to make you the best version of you possible, right? Yeah, that's that's my only goal. Sure. So we've got to act. So we we've, we've got to have some boundaries and understanding about who we are, mm -hmm. who we're not. Like who mm -hmm. we're not is really more important when we're talking about performance, right? Mm -hmm. The stuff we're talking about on Money Club is is spot on. This is the how to change of what he's talking about in Money Club, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So when I ask you that, when I ask you that question, you're giving me the answers that ninety nine percent of the population give because mm -hmm. we're not asked these questions and we're not asked to define them down to get the to get a we got to create new mental models for you, right? Mm -hmm. Because where in your life, you where where's the biggest thing you want to improve? That's why you're here. You want to improve something, right? What's the biggest thing you want to improve? Um, I suppose it's more my financial, uh, you know, situation. Um, you know, it's 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 okay at the moment, but I think if I had. Um, you know, like we did that exercise the other night, and, um, and you know, I probably only need like a, um, uh, you know, like half a million pound, like say a million dollars. So, like, you know, if I build up a million dollar nest egg, then that's enough for me to, like, you know, live off for the rest of my life. Um, you know, I, and I could probably even, you know, have have a really nice life, you know, with that, you know, with you know, with even a lot less. Um, you know, our, our house is paid off, um, you know, no, no, no major debts. We live in an amazing, you know, amazing, you know, place, uh, you know, in, in Oxford, probably one of the best cities in the world you could, you know, live in from architecture and stuff going on. Um, so, you know, and uh, yeah, so, so that, that's, that's the, the, the major priority uh, because I, what I, what I think is if, if that improves, you know what it's like most arguments in relationships uh you know come down to money uh or you know like money's at the you know at the core of it and with my partner over the last um eight, you know 17 18 years 18 years or so we've been together um you know she's primarily been like the uh the major like you know breadwinner um and i've been yep. like the stay at stay at home parent you know looking at bringing my son up um and, you know, that was fine during these earlier days, but obviously when he starts getting to, you know, high school and stuff, you know, you don't need as much, uh, as much time. So I've always done enough just to, you know, to cover, you know, to cover the bases, but I've never really excelled and, um, you know, hit my, you know, hit my fullest potential. Um, and, you know, even, um, you know, and even so like, you know, like with rowing, um, you know, for example, you know, like in my rugby career as well, I did, I, I did okay. 
um, I played like at the championship level, which is like this, you got the Premier, you got the, the Premier League in uh, in rugby union with like you know Wasps, Saracens, all those clubs. I played in the tier below that. Um, yep. You know, which you know, which is these. This was before it was professional, anyway, because I'm of that that type of generation. Um, but you know, I, I was good, but I never really believed in myself, or I had somebody who believed in me that could have like you know pushed me pushed me forward. Um, um, and and then even when I got into rowing, and I did you know really well as like um, you know like a masters athlete. You know, I won the European Indoor Championships when I was forty. I still could have got. I still believe I still could have gone faster. So I, I have. I don't think I've ever, um, you know, achieved my. Um, you know, even though you know, and you know what Rowan's like. Rowan's like a you know a mental a mental game. You know, it's. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. So essentially, more mental than anything. What you're saying is you actually want to get to your full potential. Yeah. You want to. You want to. You want to yeah, see yeah. what you. What you've got so you now know what's stopping you mm -hmm. your whole past experience your education up until this point in time is stopping you from moving forward exactly what we're saying in the money club right mm -hmm. so this is why i ask you this question it's it relates completely to this question have you ever looked up the word identity in the dictionary no this is so we need to get clear on stuff, right? Mm -hmm. There's multiple. There's multiple um, um, things on what it means identity. But when I when I look at identity, I pick one of the like. I mean, I'm getting clear for this course, right? Mm -hmm. So when I ask you to tell me who you are, I want to know who you are, really, and what you are, right? Because if you know this, the other stuff. We can, and I'll get to this in a minute, but identity means the fact of being who or what a person or thing is. The fact mm -hmm. of being who or what a person or thing, thing is. And it's also a transformation that leaves an object unchanged. So what it's saying okay. is your identity can't be changed. Okay. You're, you're, and I, when I go tell me who you are, you go, well, I'm a father. And I go, have you always been a father? Mm -hmm. And nope. you'll go, no, Tony, I haven't. What I got, I was a father at what age? Um, I don't know, 34, 35, something like that. And then, then you go, has the fathering job been the same the whole way along? Or does it change as your son grows up? Like you're telling me now. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. yeah. So fathering's got nothing to do with your identity, mm -hmm. right? You're married. You're a partner. Have you always been married? Have you always been a partner? The answer is no. Coach, have you always been a coach? No. Nope. No. Have you have have there be there been times when you haven't been open minded? Yeah. Yeah. I imagine so. So, so are you say are you saying with this then that the identity you know like you're born with your identity then? Or well, is, is that something that is that what develops in those first ten years or whatever we've talked about? No, let's, so let's pull this apart because what have you what have you what have you known, you've gone okay I've had an experience as a father I've had an experience as a partner I've had some experiences as coaching in coaching. You know, and you went, I'm open minded. So that's actually a trait, right? Like you, that's a thing you identify with as a trait. So difference between identify and identity. Um, you're a generalist or a polymath. So that's something you do. You like to have fun, another something that you do. Um, you like all sports, you like traveling, and you like working with people, all stuff you like to do. What does all that stuff into? What's it, all that stuff go into? What's it make up? Well, more personality, I suppose, um, rather right than identity. Yeah, it's your personality. Do you know what personality means? Nope. It's, a 
we've got if you want to if you want to be the best you can be you got to understand what you are and what you're not does this make sense yeah so your personality is defined and listen to it is defined as a set of habitual behaviors so behaviors cognitions thoughts and emotional patterns so the way you um, way you emote in a situation that evolve so they're created by biological so partly dna and environmental factors mm -hmm. so everyone tell everyone sits down and tell you know virtually 99 percent of the population tell me about all the stuff that up their personality mm -hmm. has your personality changed any time in your life yep changes all the time right mm -hmm. so you're telling me that you haven't reached your potential so it's the things you've learned up until this point in time that have created your personality and it's your personality that stopped you from achieving your full potential yep because 95 percent of what's in here is underneath the below the surface you don't even you you only recognize it and this is what we teach i'll teach you how to recognize your subconscious programs coming up because that's the fastest okay. way forward if we can wipe out if we can actually wipe out those programs that's the actual fastest way forward for your life because okay, yeah, yeah and you got to remember that our brain is a um, prediction. It runs on prediction, not it. It does. It's, we're not conscious. We run on prediction. So your brain makes a decision before you get to that decision, and you're just acting out whatever your brain tells you to act out. So this is why, as athletes, we train all the time because we want those unconscious movements in before we get out to the sporting field. So we can just play because our brain's ahead of us. We're predicting everything. So then we're going to go a little bit deeper on personality and person. The word personality came from the word persona. And this, this just gives it all away. It's a Latin word, which is a theoretical mask worn in, worn by performers in order to project different roles or disguise their identity. Hmm. Nice. When you learn the words, you go, oh, my personality covers my identity. Mm -hmm. Your personality is what you interact with the world in, in this 3D form of this body. Through the five senses and through the way your body feels on the inside, because your brain has two sources of, of input. Interception, which is how your body feels on the inside and all the signals it's sending your brain and external sources through the five senses well or the six senses mm -hmm. so this so when we break this down when i ask you tell me who you are and you you can't tell me your personality anymore so you're actually more than your personality does that make sense mm -hmm. yep because all i want you to be able to take out of this is holy shit I can actually change whatever I need to change if I if I know how to get to the programs that are running the show. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Because the way you act now is a, is a a built up collection of how you've acted in the past in that particular situation. Mm -hmm. Being a coach, you know people can change past behaviors, right? Mm -hmm. But that's always so this is so I want to give you the ability to go, okay, this is how this is how change happens. You just well, I lost your video. Oh, hold on. Wait then. So are you back? Yep. I just had something something popped up like a software update or something. Oh, okay. So this is really important, right? Because when I so if you're not your if you're not your personality, so this is your brain, right? That's what stores all the information, and that's what's taken everything in since you've been born. But you're actually not that. That's the software that just interacts with the world. Who are you then? So no remember, 
<laughs> you remember your identity can't change. Yep. Okay, no fucking clue? Yeah. <laughs> you got to look up the word human being. Okay. Can you do that now? Yeah, yeah, two sex. Or you might look up human then yeah, yeah. being. But... A, a man, woman, or child of the species of Homo sapiens distinguished from other animals by superior mental development, power of articulate speech and upright stance. Is that human being connected? C connected, how do you mean? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, in... yeah. Do one word, but yeah, now, yeah. So now, put, now just put in being. Being, okay. Uh, the nature or essence of a person. Sometimes one aspect of our being has been developed at the expense of others. Got it. Look at uh, the synonyms. Look at the synonyms of bit, yeah. nature or essence of a person. Okay, hold on. I'll look up um, uh, thesaurus. It should, be, it should be underneath there. Um, okay, so, so being, you've got like soul, spirit, nature, um, essence, substance. Psyche, heart, that those type of things. Um, so, if you're a human, Homo sapien, and a yeah. being, which is the nature or, or essence, and the synonym, have you ever heard the have you ever heard the the terminology of mind, body, and spirit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, they give it to us, right? Yeah. Nature or essence. And the first two synonyms of nature or essence is, is soul or spirit. Mm -hmm. It's actually written in our diary, in our dictionary. Yep. Okay. So, what's, so I can change your personality, right? You know we can change someone else's personality. And you're your brain and your, this thing that we walk around in, it's called a body. I don't even ask you, can we change the body? Yeah, of course. You go, yeah, of course, because you do it every day, right? Yeah. yeah. You've, just, you've just had a real big understanding happen because I just got goosebumps all over me, right? <laughs> this is, we're, we're connected energetically, right? But you just had a massive understanding when you just said that. And you went, yeah, of course. We can't change. What can't we change about you? Well, the identity, that soul or spirit. Yeah. So the nature of you, they, they tell us the nature of a human being is a soul or a spirit. We just got to, mm -hmm. this is what I'm talking about when we're, we're dealing with a spirit where high performance is going spiritual. Because so this is, this, is, this, is, this is like flow that we're talking about, yeah? Well, That's this is like this the spiritual is, side of it, yeah? Absolutely. Well, the spiritual, spiritual side and the, the flow, flow science were, before Darwin came out, they were, they were both together. They were studied at the same time. They had a hundred year separation and now they've come back together. The mystical experience and the flow experience are exactly the same thing on a, on a fMRI. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that's stopping you from reaching any of your goals is your personality, which mm -hmm. is the software yeah. that's been developed since you've been born. Yeah. And when you know that you're not the software or you're not your personality, you're, the things that are holding you back become ridiculous. Because you're going, hang on a minute, fucking why would I, why would I act like that in that situation? Now we're just going to go through the process and start. This is, yeah. let's get our mind around what the words and what's not, because every time I get on, mate, I'm going to go, 
okay, God, tell me who you are. Mm-hmm. And or or until you're until you see it and feel it, because it, it'll come down the track. Because once you experience that that zone without having to do anything, you then actually understand who you are. And that's that thing of like that the guy you taught telling the story, like walking down the street, he had it in a week and that yeah, it was like years. Yeah. Yeah, it took him it, was, it took me three months to get there compared to yeah. you know, yeah. two years for me. It was funny, it's funny, you know, where we just had that blip where you lost my my uh, my my video, because the phone came up and said, look, you know, schedule um, we want to do a software update on your phone. <laughs> Do it now or schedule it later. <laughs> so you know this is what we're doing. You know we're doing a software update like on on me, but we're doing it now. So correct. Uh, yeah. yeah. So that's just like weird. Well, and get that we all go. Well, people just go. This is who I am. You deal with it all the time. People go. This is who I am. I just. Yeah. This is how I am. Well, it's not because it's just software and I. 75% of that's done by the time you're eight years old. So do you want to live like an eight-year-old anymore? The answer yeah. is no. Mm. So this is so really important because we need to inlay this as a mental model for you to be able to go, hang on, when, when we're going around in our day-to-day life and we have an emotional, we have an emotion come up in an inappropriate situation, we just want to be able to tag it and go, fucking not even necessary but i'll come back and fix that later on there, there's a fault in the system there's a there's a um what do they call it there's a there's a bug in the system or a um virus in the system glitch in the matrix yeah glitch in the matrix so you can imagine how much easier life's going to be every time you get pissed off you go mm-hmm. oh yes I've just found a spot where I can actually go do some work and clear that out instead of what we normally do through experience, experience that 30 or 40 times and go, fuck it, I'm not going to take this anymore. I'm going to change something. Mm -hmm. What if we do it first go? It just happens. It comes up and happens. These are skills that you can develop and that's where we're going now. So... Do you, how much do you know about the quantum physics world and stuff? Have you have you looked into a, a, a little bit? I've um, yeah, I I sort of um, yeah. My funnily enough, my, my son got into it like when he was about like nine. <laughs> you know, like you know uh, quarks and bosons and you know all yep. the blinking. Um, it was when they found what was that thing they discovered the Higgs boson type of thing? People got their you know. Yeah. So he, yeah, um, but yeah, I, I like put it in the in the too hard basket. Um, okay. So so quick quick rundown for what we need, right? Mm-hmm. You understand that we are ninety nine point nine 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 percent energy, mm-hmm. and point zero 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 one percent matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Which is going to be the most effective way to change this body if it's 99% energy and 1%? Like, I mean, I'm, I'm exaggerating now, but 99% energy, yeah. 1% matter. Yeah, you want to change the energy. So would it be better to take a pill or would it be better to change the, the electricity that's going in your brain? Uh, the electricity. We know that, and we know the pill is going to take fucking months. But if we get, the, if we change the electricity up here, the whole system changes within instant. Mm-hmm. So that's all we need to know, because we know when you put your body into a furnace, and you get cremated at the end of your life, what comes out? Yeah, just a bit of ash. A bit of ash that sits in the palm of your hand. That's the matter the body's made out of. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what's the rest of it? A vibrational frequency. So where, 
how much do we focus on the physical? Say in sport, yeah. how much do we focus on the physical and not that not that much on the mental? Well, yeah, it's probably ninety nine percent physical and one percent mental. So what would be around. smart? What would be smarter for performance? Yeah, yeah, the the like, the, the mental, obviously. You, you, you're so. It's not, there's not, we don't have to go into too much science. We actually know these things as, as how they are. Mm -hmm. What controls all the, um, what controls everything in this, this? What's well, the highest brain. So what controls the energy? The brain. Intention and focus. Mm -hmm. So why do we need goals? Why and why do we need to write them down? Because we've only got very, very small amount of conscious mind to focus with. So we need to actually narrow it down to get, we can actually take that further and narrow it down even further. And I'm just gonna give you a little experiment to do because I want you to understand how powerful this really is and how simple life really is. Mm -hmm. Just sit there with your hands in front of you, basically 20 centimeters apart. You're gonna you're gonna focus on the the area in between your hands. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use conscious intention through and just you just focus on that area and use mm -hmm. your brain. We're gonna ask this question. And all you're gonna just follow me through this. So you're gonna go, please bring. Please bring pure source consciousness. Pure source consciousness between my hands. Between my hands. Please bring pure source consciousness. Please bring pure source consciousness between my hands. One more time. Please bring pure source consciousness between my hands. Tell me what you notice. Well, more calm. Um, I don't know, it feels like this. It feels like there's something, something there. Whether it's, um, you know, like your hands around a ball type of thing. So just trust. So this is where I said, just leave everything at the door. Just trust what you feel right now. So you feel an energy between your hands that feels like a ball. Mm -hmm. What, what color is it? Orange. So you've got an orange ball between your hands. Mm -hmm. So, okay, just open your eyes and rub your hands. So what controls the energy? Your brain. You just created an energy between your hands mm -hmm. with your brain. Life is that simple. Because this is what controls the energy. We just need to control all the energy now. Right? Mm -hmm. If you can do that, you can do the rest of what I'm going to show you today, tonight. The only reason you're not going to do it from here is if your mind goes, oh, fuck, Tony's a fuckhead. Um, this is too easy. Um, this can't happen like this. Um, I'm just making this shit up. If you, mm -hmm. go, if you turn negative in this, if you feel a negative thought, 